Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at two new little boxes. First one is Low Pass Gate, and the other one is a Gate Combiner. And as you can see, they're both pretty mint. Well, okay, sorry about the bad pun there. These two are two passive circuits built into these small mint tins. You can build them into any box. Put them on a panel if you want. And in fact, if we start with the low pass gate, what's inside this little tin is exactly the same as what I built into the low pass gate module for project 12. So I'm not going to go into a, a great deal of detail about what's in there in this video because you can follow the link, um, it'll be on screen and down in the description uh, to the original video for the Project 12 module, Low Pass Gate. It's exactly the same, it's just that in the module I've, I've built two of them, in here there's, there's just the one, but it's a passive circuit so it doesn't need any power. So yeah, that's kind of pretty quick on that one because it's been done before. What I haven't built before is a gate combiner, which is what this one is. Gate combiner, otherwise known as an OR gate. So the circuit that I've used for this is a bog standard circuit in uh, electronics, and it's it uses it's a diode OR gate. Really, really simple. So I've just taken what you'd get in any electronic tutorial. I've got a three input version here. You can build as many inputs as you as you want, really. But I've, for the size of the box, I've just gone with the three input. Um, and so the circuit diagram actually looks like this. So there you've got the three jack inputs and you've got a diode on the output of each of those and then they're all joined together and go to a single output which has got a pull down resistor across the output and, and ground. Like I say, it's a passive circuit so there's no power needed. What it does, it takes all the power from whatever is going into it. it just passes it through. It's an OR gate so it has a truth table and the truth table looks like this. What that means, if you aren't used to reading OR gates, uh, truth tables rather, is that if any one or another or a combination of any of the input gates is high, then the output will also be high. In order for there to be no output or the output being low, then there has all of the inputs need to be low. So if any one or any combination of inputs goes high, then the output goes high. That's why we can call it a gate combiner, because what it does, it combines all the gate signals coming in and passes them through to the output. There's no circuit board involved. Um, I've, as with the low pass gate, I've simply wired everything directly to itself. If you prefer the term dead bug, it's, it's dead bug soldering. Um, and the finished result looks like this. And then it's just a case of mounting it in the box. And when it's mounted in the box, it looks like this. So there you go. Two very simple passive circuits mounted into little mint tins, but do they sound mint? Let's go and have a listen. Before we start the demo, I'll explain how I set the patch up. This is the OR gate, otherwise gate combiner. Uh, we've got the one, two, three inputs on the bottom and the OR output at the top there. I want to use two of the inputs, it doesn't matter, they're all joined together, so it doesn't matter which ones you go into. 
Um, in input one is coming from, it's just off top of screen, um, but it's a square wave output from a low frequency oscillator. And then I'm using input three, and that is coming from a clock source on the clock module. It's just another square wave source. And then the output from the OR gate is going into the CV input on the low pass gate. And the input from the low pass gate, well, I'm taking output from a, a 4046 VCL, it's just set to a set frequency, and I'm passing it through a, a, a ladder filter, uh, just because I can. <laughs> Uh, and that goes to the input on the low pass gate and then the output is disappearing off that way into the mixer. So there we go, um, very simple setup but it's it's just to demonstrate the, the functionality of these two little boxes. So if I turn power on to the LFO, so we're just driving one of the inputs on the OR gate and you should be able to hear an output. There you can hear that the there you can hear that the um, the gate, the low pass gate, is opening and, and therefore allowing the signal through in time with the square wave pulse coming from the LFO. I'm going to switch the clock on now, and I've set the clock at a much higher frequency than the LFO. So the clock is running at a faster rate and what you should hear is the combination of those two gates through the gate combiner aka the OR gate. So you get an interesting combined kind of polyrhythm type effect going on there as the two gates are interacting with each other as they combine through the gate combiner, aka OR gate. I'm sure there's uh, lots of other iterations and tweaks I can play with, but for now it's a very simple circuit diagram for a diode OR gate. It's, it's a, just a common diagram in, in electronics. Um, and I've given you that. Uh, you don't have to put it in a little box, you could put it on a, on a panel. It's a relatively simple circuit for the low pass gate. I've given you the link back to um, the original video when I built the panel for Project 12. Um, so you've, you've got what you need there. Um, and again, I, I, the originally I built it for on a panel for Project 12, so it doesn't have to go in a, a little box. So if you want to build panels or, or little boxes, you've got all you need. So why not? Yeah, go on, have a go, build your own. Sound.